What's up, Swag, everybody? It's the clip. So today, I'm going to be bringing you a new farm. Um, this is the False Fire Ogre Farm. Shout out to Gold Queen for the name. Um, this used to be, it was a Ogre Waystone for the Mage Tower in your garrison farm. But you needed a server hop with it. Right? And then, because the mobs obviously didn't respawn because they didn't have to where mobs were connected. And I was over the other day farming up Ogre Waystones uh, for the Apex Crystals. And I noticed that they're all on uh, instant respawn. So what, what I did was I got five people. You're going to put one. Druid's monks are obviously key. Um, the macro here is slash uh, soot stained. Um, and then slash cast class specific spell. From there, you want to put uh, one on orange. Make sure he kills the mob that's pad padding over here. That drastically increases the drop. So don't forget about that, this mob right here. All right. Then you're gonna put one at yellow, and this dude right here. If you got an ox statue, the one doing sit-ups, trying to get his abs for summer, um, he won't pull the ox statue. So you're gonna actually have to tag that one. Green, somewhere in this area, right? You really only need to get these guys, and there's one that spawns right here that you want to get. One's down at purple and red, all right? And if you're at red, there's one that spawns in this area right here that you want to grab but you can also get this one from green if you come to this edge like right here and grab it so you guys can just split that the kill time is two minutes and then i will explain uh, what this place drops so everybody go ahead and put your off statue down start killing all right so what this place drops okay this place drops all the the drain or like legit weapon mogs and just just drain or mogs so that's what we're going for as you see um, the gold per hour is right up there. hundred. Well, actually, one somebody left. Yeah, somebody left. It was up to. Yeah, he he swapped characters. He was up to a hundred and sixty eight k, I believe. One hundred and sixty. One hundred and sixty. Okay. Now, also, um, as you're killing, you want to make sure that you don't loot. Kill, 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 kill. And as you're looting, you don't want to kill. Uh, bring your Baratari Tar. Uh, Findle's loot ring. All right. You can use that as well. All right. Uh, but I'm just gonna mouse over here and try to bring up some of the moggets for it. So as you see, so you got belts. Hold on, let me. You got that sword right there, which is not bad at all, considering. You got this like the, the mogs are just legit. It's the same. It, it's almost the the same stuff that comes out of iron docks. All right, crossbow, swords, daggers, shoulders. There's like a helm that looks like Shao Khan from Mortal Kombat, etc. It's the it's the vine wrapped, it's the frostbitten, the lunar glow, all that. So the and, and the items and there's a shield here that sells for like 28k. It's like the Gorok shield or something like that. It's black and got got some spikes on it too. And these things sell constantly because the mogs are actually viable, like extremely viable. Like they look good. It's almost anybody will use them. So. You, you just basically kill for two minutes. Now, this time I'm going to kill for two minutes and 20 seconds because I was messing around, and then we'll see what we get from it. Now, um, if you're up at uh, up at the top, you won't be able to loot all the way down to the bottom, and if you're at the bottom, you won't be able to loot all the way up at the top, but it don't matter because you're getting, like, instant spawn kills. Not to mention, you will get a crap ton of ogre way, uh, waystones, so if you're looking to stockpile up on them, by all means, come over here and do that as well. All right, so we got that gun and loot. All right, so let's see what we get. Call out what you get. I got a lunar glow bow. When you go about price on it? Said six K. Six K, nice. I hate when people gotta get rid of that ox statue. There we go. Also, if you can get the the legendary boots, Sentinel's Eternal Refuge, they help a lot with looting. Uh two K for Steam Scar gloves. Nice. Not bad. I don't think we got any big ticket items yet. I didn't. I've been having bad juju on this farm all night, which Bad juju for me is still 70k, so that's not too bad. I didn't get nothing, but yeah, I never get nothing during a video. The creeper claw axe for 1.5, frostbit and crossbow for 4.6, and gold snout waistband for 
one more thing. This place is located, I forgot all about that, it is located in Frostfire Ridge at the Bladespire Citadel. All right, right along, there's like a little village off here to the south. Here, let me make that big. Right here. So that way, you know, I completely forgot about that. Thank God I remembered that. That would have sucked. But, yeah, like I said, I highly recommend this farm. Um, I would farm it for at least a couple hours just to get, you know, like two or three or four of the mogs in uh, of, of each of the mogs into your stockpile and then move to the next. Now, there are some really, really big ticket items that, that drop from here. However, they're rare. Right? And they're going to be like the blue items. Um, there's like blue weapons and stuff like that. Um, they're rare though. Like normally you end up pulling like the trinket or the ring or something like that. But it don't matter because it's steady. Like I know with my loot it didn't look like it. Just trust me. Give it a shot. And it is what it is. But with that being said, enjoy the farm. Enjoy the gold. Pippin is, Pippin does. Swag. Peace. Catch me on the next one. You dig?